All right, so this is going to be a short video, but um, one of the follow-ups that we can, one of the follow-up definitions we can give from the proof of the Mostowski collapsing theorem is, well, we know now that every uh, well-ordering is order isomorphic to a unique ordinal. And so what we can do is define the order type of a well-ordering to be that ordinal that it's uniquely order isomorphic to. So in other words, um, what we can say is what we can, so define, or what's our definition? Well, given a well-ordering a less than, so, so if a less than is a well-ordering, well, what we're going to uh, define is define the order type. And the way it's maybe denoted is something like type of a comma less than. We do want to emphasize that it's uh, it's the well, it's the well ordering that's kind of given by less than, right? You can have different well orderings on us on the same set. So we kind of are uh, uh, we. It's important that there's we're, we're specifying the ordering. Well, what is this thing? This is the unique. And I'll kind of emphasize that it's unique. Um, it's the unique ordinal. Ordinal, maybe alpha. Such that, uh, such such that a with the less than relation is order isomorphic to alpha with the membership relation. And again, we we proved this in the in the previous video that such a that such an ordinal exists and is and is unique. And so this kind of um, this previous result kind of maybe uh, justifies thinking about the ordinals as all the ways that we can well order well orderings. <laughs> or all the possible ways to well order a set, maybe is a better way of saying it. Up until this point, uh, when we we kind of defined ordinals as transitive sets well ordered by epsilon, but you know, um, maybe it was the case that these, these ordinals just kind of existed kind of in the ether of the set theoretic universe, and there's no relationship between these ordinals and other types of well orderings. But, well, we actually showed uh, from the previous video that all the well orderings, all the ordinals, or all the well orderings can be can be thought of uh, in in their in terms of their order theoretic properties as certain types of ordinals. So in other words, the ordinals are somehow representations or representatives of the ways that we can um, uh, well order a particular set. They're kind of the canonical way to represent the well orderings of of, of sets in the set theoretic universe. And what we're going to do is show something a little bit stronger in a few videos. Uh, well, uh, something or something uh, kind of a, a bit a bit stronger that well if we have any set then it's actually well orderable so it's kind of related to this that's actually equivalent to the axiom of choice and we'll probably prove that it's equivalent just for fun but um so i'll leave it at this uh we have this definition of an order type of a well ordering set of a well ordered set so i'll see see everyone in the next video